Okay, guys, so we got the first UK university pushing medical discrimination on its young students, despite, of course, there being no law to say these universities should be doing this. Which I guess is actually partially a good thing, because legal protections against being sued won't be there in this case. Which, let's be honest, if this is such a leading university, the parents of kids pissed off with this move likely have the money to fund legal cases against it. Either way though, Harpury University, or whatever it's called, has decided to make being double dosed up like good little sheep a mandatory requirement for those living at the university. Not only that, but you will also be banned from taking part in sporting activities and keeping horses in the stables, which really shows you just how upmarket this university is. Let's hope they've got some money saved over to fight the court cases I hope that come flying in after this. I mean, let's be honest, they make some provably false claims about protecting others that the government admit is flat wrong, but importantly use the term doing as we tell you will allow us all to lead to a new normal life. Yep, fully signed up alongside Boris to the old Great Reset agenda it would seem. Now naturally this has not gone down well like I said with the Telegraph reporting a flurry of complaints which should really be a flurry of refund requests for the coming terms. I bet their medical apartheid support would dwindle pretty fast if people started taking their money away for this bullshit. The Telegraph is saying one parent said her daughter's dreams were in tatters after the college insisted that she prove her double jab status before she goes. I feel it's my choice as a mother to say no, the parent told the Telegraph, and I would agree with that 100%. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but I believe her immune system is strong enough to deal with the virus. Why should she have to prove her medical history? Well, of course she shouldn't, and there's also no need to say you're an anti-vaxxer. The world knows 99% of people are not, and the media claims that they are is nothing more than desperate attempts at smear jobs and damage control. The Telegraph goes on, I think their stance is completely inappropriate and it's causing a huge amount of distress to my daughter and the whole family. Completely inappropriate, yes I would say it is. Legally risky, in my mind it could well be, and morally and ethically bankrupt is certainly at this point a guarantee. In fact, these clowns are now on par with shit rod, the Pimlico plumber's ponce and medical apartheid support in fuck pig. You know, the quicker that everybody acknowledges that, the, the without proof of the vaccine, you can't go into a pub, club, restaurant, gymnasium, anywhere at all, you can't travel, theatre, you can't even go into work. I mean, personally, I have to say, I don't even think that we should allow people on the streets unless they've had the vaccine. What a wanker. <laughs>